this one is need a lot of work on its sleeves here. You can see that it's really damaged. The silver threads are loose. The silk fabric are damaged. We do a condition report for each dress. Some of them, like, th like this one, need a lot of work, at least one month. In this dress, there is a tear from here until down right here. So I'm doing the stitching for stabilizing the patch. I put it uh, inside the dress. I learned conserving the thopes at the V&A Museum in London. The specialists uh, there taught us how to deal with these dresses and uh, how we can save them from the damage it happened to them. I am going to make it flat by a humidification. So I will put the polyester here. And then the second stage is to put a tie back. So this Tyvek is, uh, will allow the water enter to the fabric. When we were young, we see our grandmother uh, wearing these dresses. So this uh, gives us a feeling that something belongs to you. Nowadays, we are losing our heritage by a modern thing. For example, ladies this day don't wear dresses. It's really important to save our uh, heritage and uh, show all the world that this, is, this is belongs to us. This is uh, used to be a wedding dress, but also the, there is another story that we can say. It has been cut from here until here. All of these have been repaired. This is, it means that the woman actually, she uh, cut her dress. That means that she lost her husband, that's her son. We don't know. We took another angle to look at our heritage. It's not just the wedding dress. We are proud that we are uh, preserving them. These are really very important because they are telling us a lot of stories about uh, real life in Palestine. Any museum needs to have conservation lab to be aware how to work with objects, to prepare them also for exhibitions. The donation of the Alif project is very important for the museum because it not only uh, they have uh, established with us the conservation lab along with the equipments and trainings of the team and also supported the uh, public program and the education program. I'm very proud to have a Palestinian museum, a beautiful museum that is really connected to the Palestinian identity. We feel that our identity is being erased constantly and this is a way to preserve some of who we are in a building. Every house has one of those textiles, if not even more, and they inherit these dresses to uh, the next generation. And if they learn how to keep them, and if they learn the importance of these garments, they will be able to transfer this knowledge to their kids and their grandkids.